Hello and welcome to yet another episode of True North. Today we are joined by Paris Chopra, the founder and chairman of Wingify. Thanks Paris for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Real pleasure. Paris, tell us how did entrepreneurship happen? Oh, it's a long story. I sort of, uh, my father got home a computer and I got hooked to it for some reason. I think it's really inexplicable but uh, started programming uh, on Visual Basic 6.0. So back then it was sort of the simplest programming language. So I started making lots of small programs, calculator and stuff. And uh, I think that's when I stumbled across uh, SS by Paul Graham. So he's the founder of iCombinator and he used to write lots of powerful essays on what startup is, how you should do it and so on and so forth. So I was fascinated by the entire idea of this tech based entrepreneurship that uh, the coding that I was doing can literally change the world. You know, So that was a powerful idea and it was just Everything was a consequence of that one point hitting me in the core, yeah. That was the idea, but how did the execution of Wingify happen? So I, like I said, I started making lots of programs and then my father encouraged me to put those programs on the web. So I made a website, put them on and I started getting lots of requests for modification of those programs. So somebody would say, add this feature, add that feature. So I started adding that and people would start sending me donations. So for a 14 year old kid, somebody sending like, uh, you know, a donation, somebody sent me a wine bottle thanking, <laughs> he didn't know <laughs> that I was, yes. <laughs> And uh, somebody and then I think the first income that I got was $100. In my college days, then I started launching lots of these startups. Mm -hmm. uh, so between two terms, you have a couple of months off. So I would launch a startup and it will fail. I would launch a startup, it will fail. So three or four times it happened. And uh, after graduating, I worked for about a year and I did this again, which was Wingify. Mm -hmm. So this time it didn't fail. And uh, yeah, so, so it is a history of lots of products. So Wingify was not the first thing that I did. Mm -hmm. It was literally say, sixth or seventh thing in my entire sort of growing up age. Yeah. Take us through some of the learnings in the past eight years and how have those redefined you as a person? So I think the uh, most important, not the most important, one of the most important learnings was the value of community and sharing. So for example, I would not have done Wingify if Paul Graham had not sat down and you know, wrote those essays and uh, Paul Graham would not have done that. His earlier predecessors would not have encouraged him to do a startup. So I think the whole uh, Silicon Valley cluster and culture works because there is a feeling of sharing, you know, feeling of paying it forward and that cycles continues. So it started with Fairchild Semiconductors and then Intel got founded and then from Intel, Sun Microsystems, from Sun Microsystems, people went to Google and so on and so forth. And now people who worked in Google are working in new startups. So it's that cycle that keeps on, you know, accelerating the ecosystem. So I think that's been a very big learning that uh, things progress if people share freely. And I've learned so much from blogs, books, people out there. And uh, that's why I think we need to encourage that thing in India, in the Indian ecosystem. And I think you guys are doing a great job uh, doing that. You spoke about the culture of sharing. Tell us about the core culture at Wingify. So there's a couple of values that we encourage. Uh, one of the values is of transparency. So by transparency, I mean we share all our numbers uh, publicly. So everyone knows our revenue, churn rate, product. So we do not keep uh, any financial number from our employees and our team. Uh, and so, so that really gives the confidence, you know, that uh, our team knows as much as the leadership or I know. Uh, and the second value is of uh, feedback, which is we actively encourage people to give feedback to their managers, their leaders and feedback, not in terms of just being a nice feedback. If they disagree, they should simply say you're wrong, irrespective of you know who that person is. As an entrepreneur, what keeps you going? I think it's about having uh, fun, <laughs> being playful. So I, I try to not take myself too seriously and especially not try to define myself by what the traditional paths have been. So for example, I recently changed my role to chairman. And uh, so I just felt it was the right thing to do, irrespective of you know whether people think a founder should change his role from CEO to chairman or not. So I, I just try to do the right thing and have fun along the way. How do you deal with difficult times? There have been far too many. <laughs> I think any entrepreneur who's saying it's been smooth ride is probably lying. 
I think uh, having a business partner or a co-founder helps that uh, in that you're not just alone. You can share very freely and, you know, discussion lessens the load. And uh, having, I think, even the role of family and friends is usually underappreciated. So if you have people who you can really confide into, uh, that lessens the load as well. What's your true north? So what gives me real happiness is people from India who've, who are sort of competing and succeeding globally. So I don't mean Indians. There's a lot of Indians in Silicon Valley who are doing really well. Satya Nadella, mm -hmm. Sundar Pichai and so many others. But I really mean people who've just been in India, grown from India and still even then dominating uh, and competing globally. So say companies like Tata, mm -hmm. they're doing really well in that regard. So huge respect. So that's what keeps me going that how do you overcome this, the odds that are stacked against you and uh, be number one in any field. What would your message be to fellow entrepreneurs and the guys who are just starting up? For fellow entrepreneurs, it's give more. Uh, they should take a moment of silence and reflect that how much they've gotten from other people, how much advice, mentorship, learnings they've gotten. And uh, even though they're busy, they should take out time to mentor other people and give it forward without an expectation of getting anything back. Mm -hmm. And for people who are really starting out, my advice would be to ask for help. How do you unwind? I play with my cat. <laughs> so I have a cat at home, drink a beer, watch Netflix, and uh, read books. I read a lot of books. Biggest fear? To get too comfortable. When are you the happiest? I think I'm happiest when I'm creating something. Who's your role model? I don't have people as role models, rather I have ideas. Thank you, Paras, for joining us today. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Dola. Really nice having this chat with you.